The White House brings attention to the opioid crisis during a forum for women. Faith surfaces as one of the solutions. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. President Trump and top White House officials like Kellyanne Conway spoke at yesterday's event. The topics covered everything from the economy to national security, but the conversation that caught my attention included faith and the fight against the opioid crisis. We don't believe that the best ideas and solutions come from Washington. Presidential counselor Kellyanne Conway joined by business executives and state government officials who want to reverse the nationwide opioid crisis. A reported 2.4 million Americans addicted, resulting in 120 people dying every day from an overdose. Pam Bondi, Florida's attorney general, tells me drug dealers will do anything to get people hooked, including putting harmful chemicals in common drugs. So if anybody's watching, don't take anything from anyone without a prescription and you don't know what it is because you can die. Emily Rate shares her life-affirming story about overcoming a seven-year opioid addiction. I believe without Jesus Christ, I'd be dead right now. Rate says she was saved by a year-long faith-based recovery program. Um, I am currently about to hit six years sober um, next month. I am, thank you. Now, Rate is a homeowner, wife, and pregnant mother. She tells me God completely transformed her life. I believe that that is what is the changing factor and has been. It's very interesting to hear other people's stories, even if they go into a different line, they, they do recognize that God is the bigger picture and when he wants to redeem somebody, he will. And it's with him that I'm able to be standing here today. The White House will include faith-based recovery programs in its arsenal of tools to help end opioid-related deaths. Kellyanne Conway, who leads the White House initiative to come up with solutions, said yesterday, we talk to the faith's faith-based community all the time. Lauren. Mark, there is a nationwide call for everyone to join this fight and come up with answers. It is one of the biggest epidemics our country has ever seen. What other weapons are being used? Lauren, Walmart is introducing one. Today, the retail giant announced when their customers have opioid prescriptions filled, the pharmacy will provide a free powder that can be used to turn any leftover medicine into a useless gel that can then be thrown away. White House correspondent Mark Irons, thank you.